Welcome to the third tutorial in the series. In the previous lesson, we looked at how we can make an object move from one location to another location using a motion tween. In this tutorial, we're going to use a motion guide to make this object follow a particular path across this screen. I've already set up the motion tween, um, and as you can see, the object goes from one position to another location in a straight line. What we're going to do is create the path, and to do this we're going to use a thing called a motion guide. So I'm just going to click on the motion guide and it creates a new layer. The circle layer automatically attaches to the one above. If it didn't, and it looked like this, all you would have to do is click and drag and move the mouse slightly to the right until you see a little black line um, and you know, kind of raised and it will attach to that line, or rather to that layer. I'm going to lock the circle layer and I'm going to click on the first frame of the guide layer. I'm then going to create a, um, a path using the pencil tool. Now I've already set the pencil tool to smooth the line and what I'm going to do is just draw kind of a wobbly line like so. This line isn't particularly wobbly, there's a few straight edges so you can adjust the map if you want to. Um, Alternatively, you can double click on the line and click on the smooth tool to kind of round it off. What I've now got is um, a, a path for it to follow. As you can see, the circle is already following the line slightly. So what we're going to do is just make sure it starts in the right place. So I'm going to lock the guide layer and unlock the circle layer. I'm going to click on the first frame and I'm going to move that circle to the beginning of the line. Now it should automatically snap onto it. As you can see, I'm moving the circle away, releasing, but it stays attached. I'm then going to go to the last frame and move the circle to the end of the line. And again, if I move it slightly away, you can see that it snaps to it. This circle now follows that line. When you run that animation, you'll notice that the circle follows the line but the line is invisible. I'm just going to slow it down again just by changing the frame rate just so you can see it a little bit more clearly. There we go. Nice and easy and it just helps a little bit when it comes to uh, animating something in a direction that you want it to move in. The next tutorial will look at how we extend this further and we're going to look at orientating an object to a path. 